pandemic nor this weekend snow can keep a favorite food festival down. The Richmond Jewish Food Festival returns this Sunday and organizers say that it's happening snow, rain or shine. On your side, Terrence Dixon has a look at how this year will be a bit different. How excited are you all to be back? We are really excited. We really missed it last year. The 14th annual Richmond Jewish Festival is making its return Sunday, but with a twist. So we said, well, if they, they can't get the live music and they can't get the vendors and the atmosphere, but we can give them our food in a takeout way. In 2020, Goldberg and his crew were some of the select few festivals that were able to host an annual event before the pandemic shut the world down. It was great. It was the, the best festival. We've had the, the largest attendance. We, uh, everything was, was running smoothly. And then came 2021. Bombarded with requests to resume in 2021, Goldberg says they had some tough decisions to make. If we couldn't do it in January, maybe in April, or maybe in the summertime, maybe it could be just takeout when we said we're not going to hold a real festival. Although nothing stuck at the time, the ideas snowballed into this year's event. It's called Heat and Eat. It's a drive through service where you pick up your meal and take it home. The food will be cold, so it's not going to be hot food for you. Um, so people will take it home and Cook it. In years past, the festival hosted this huge event inside of the JCC Weinstein building. But due to COVID, the festival is taking extra precaution, not only in the streets, but also in the kitchen with a smaller number of cooks. We minimized what we were going to cook. So we reduced the menu some, um, but we still have lots of desserts and, and a reasonable number of main courses for sale. Orders can be placed online or in person. And while you're waiting in your car for your fan favorite item, Goldberg says he's put together something special to make the festival feel like old times. So I've put together recordings of the bands that have played before, and that'll be playing on an FM station that you can get in the parking lot. On your side, Terrence Dixon, NBC 12. All righty. Thank you, Terrence. Well, organizers say that they are monitoring the forecast for Sunday, but they do say that nothing is going to stop them from holding the event. They have their tent up and they're ready to stay dry. To order online, just go to richmondjewishfoodfestival.com. All right. Well, let's send it back.